This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. Episode 17. Hi Derek, how are you? I hope you're okay. I've been calling you since yesterday. I know you heard my voice notes, but I can understand if you don't want to talk to me any longer. Last night, I couldn't sleep. All I could think of was you. I miss you, Derek. I miss you. I miss you inside me. (laughs) I miss writing you. It hurts, but... I guess I'm ready to take any pain for you, so far as it makes you happy. I sent Derek countless voice notes, but he never replied. I was getting nervous, because his birthday was in a week's time. How do I get this guy's attention? I needed to find a way. Hmm. So I called it for. I needed some money to do what I had in mind. Info, what's up? Nothing. You sound different. Mmm, I see. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm cool. What's up? The way you are sounding, dear. I, I can't even say what I wanted to say. Oh, it's fine. We can talk. It's just something that's pissing me off, but it's cool. Okay. If I, I need a loan, um, can I can I get like two thousand? Why? What for? I want to surprise Derek with something. You know, after we spoke on the phone, we had another argument, so he left. But I've been calling him and he's not answering. Oh, really? But have you spoken to him? Yeah, we spoke yesterday, but he never said anything about this to me. Eh, so he's deliberately ignoring me. Well... Obviously. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, like I was saying, can you lend me like 2000 I asked what you were going to use it for. I want to go and see him and take him out to dinner. And fuck him, I guess. I mean, my man says I can't have sex with him. Ifo's attitude was very strange today. But because she said she was just moody, I didn't pay much attention. But her next question is what surprised me a little. Well, I can't give you all. I can get you like one key. But when will you pay me back? Oh, um, um, can you give me two weeks? Sure, no problem. I'll send it to your phone. Wait, um... Why? What's the problem? I shouldn't send it. Oh, (laughs) um, (coughs) um, You don't have physical cash on you? Nah, unless I send it to your phone. Why? You all day? Yeah, okay. Can you send it to another number? You, it's fine. Let me check. I think I have some. Um, have you eaten? No, not yet. Do you have food at home? Yeah, I was about to eat. If I was setting me up for evil. <laughs> so I went to the kitchen and served the food for both of us. My lesson from today was simple. The people who laugh and smile with you are the ones to be feared. When we sat to eat, if I went to the kitchen and brought a bottle of water, she poured it into two glasses, but I didn't notice this. <clears throat> Um, here's some water. Mm, who prepared this to you? Was it your mom? Yeah, she gave it to me when I went to pick up Wendy. Mm. <laughs> hmm. It's good. Let me, let me have some water, please. Of course, I was thirsty. I didn't know the water had been mixed with some stuff. I didn't know. So I drank it. <sighs> I ate everything and drank more water. But what I didn't realize was that if one never took some of the water. So she went into her room 
and bought the money. Here you go, thousand Ghana CDs. Please try and pay me back next week. I really need it too. Oh, I will. <laughs> By all means. You know, I have to I have to hurry and go now. Are you leaving today? Yeah. And when are you returning? Uh maybe two days. Cause I have another paper on Friday. Okay. Have fun. Interesting. I left immediately to see Derek. It was going to be a long journey. For me, what was really on my mind was how I was going to take Derek's huge dick. When I say huge, people take it for granted. Charlie, the boy is big and he stretches my vagina so much, it's painful. When I was on the bus, I called him again and again, but Derek never picked up my call. Hello, Annie. Yeah, what's up? Charlie, she drank it too, almost the whole bottle, the 750ml one. Perfect. Now watch what will happen to her. Annie, I'm scared. Before I said relax, so where is she? She just left here. She's going to see her ex in the city. That's good. Just wait and see what will happen to her. Wait, who? Oh. So this means she may not be able to have sex with him? Um, today she can, but from tomorrow or the next she can't. The whole place will be infected with a discharge and a bad smell. Any, I feel bad, eh? Any, are you sure mommy is having an affair with my baby daddy? Ah, so what did he come to do in the room? Wait, wait. Any, what time did you see them exactly? It was around four that day, after lectures. It was Tuesday. Tuesday? Ah, uh, that was the same day I met Derek. But Derek said he was from her place. Oh, that was what Derek was saying. Who is Derek? Her ex, the one she's going to see. Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay. Ah, but if Derek was there... Oh my fucking goodness. Oh no, oh fuck. Any, what have I done? Oh my god, what have I why, done? Why, why, what's the problem? That was the man Derek was saying. I, I fucked up, I fucked up, if I fucked up. What's the matter I now? fucked up. Derek said to me he and mommy were having sex when Mr. Ankara came in. Exactly, so it means mommy and your baby daddy have something going on. No, they don't. I think my baby daddy went there without mommy knowing. Because there's no way mommy will invite all of them there at the same time. And me, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. Wait, are you sure? Because I saw him coming from a room. No, Annie! Derek was there! Oh god, what have I done? Annie, I need to get mommy the antidote now! Derek will think she's cheating on him when he finds out she has an infection! Okay, okay, I'm bringing it. But how would you get it to her? I don't know! She's gone! But what am I even going to tell her? That I tried to poison her or what? But if I, you should have told me Derek was there! Annie, that's why I didn't want to do this in the first place! Eh? Now what am I going to do? It was too late. I had drunk a whole bottle of water containing the substance. I arrived in the city hours later. I was going straight to Derek's house. I knew I could easily be surprised by seeing another girl there. But no matter what I was going to meet at his place, I had only one objective. Marry him. I rang the bell twice, then I heard someone walking towards the gate, and when it opened, it was him. What are you doing here? Derek, I... I... Leave my house! Derek, please, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm gonna ask you very politely, please leave my house please, Derek, now. You just hear me out, I beg. Do you understand what I just said? Yes, I do. But please, just hear me Fuck out. Fuck off, mommy. Leave my house before I call security to drag you out. Baby, I came all the way here to see you. See, I have a paper, but I have run away to come to see you because you're not answering my call. Did I just hear you say you came all the way here? When I was telling you the same thing, you threw me out of that filthy I room know, of yours. and I'm saying sorry, please. Baby, mommy, please. leave. I'm begging you. Leave now. Wow, Derek, really? It was a do or die affair. 
I had to figure a way out to get Derek to calm down. So I had an idea. Quickly, I told Derek this. Okay, okay. Sure, I'm leaving. Can I just use your washroom, please? Mommy, you're not allowed anywhere in or around my house. If you want to pee, you can do that over there by the gutter. Then he slammed the gate, locked it, and left me standing outside. I knew there was someone inside. Because there was no way Derek would see me and act like this. His birthday was eight days away. Time was running fast. I wanted to go to Joey's place and spend the night, but I knew he would end up fucking me. I also thought of Valerie, but nah, Prof also wanted sex. Bad choice. I didn't want Mike to know I was in town because I was here to deal with Derek. <sighs> hmm. I had used 300 CDs for transportation out of the thousand. I had only 700 left. I needed another 300 back, which meant I couldn't afford to sleep in a hotel. All I'm trying to say is that I was stranded. My last option was to call my dad. Hey, ghost. Whatever, can I come in? <laughs> of course, why not? I'm in town and I need a place to stay. Well, I'm here alone and your bed is still here, you know. I'm only coming to stay here so we talk about the direct thing. Sewa, you knew about this money and property. And of all the people in the world, you decided to choose your best friend Mommy, to do this you too. please settle down first, then we can talk. And Sewa, when I was in the hospital, you never came to check up on me. It's not like that. Or even call. I wanted to, but a lot of things were going on. What kind of a human being are you? You are just wicked, Sewa. Just wicked. Hmm. I guess nobody will understand me. Anyway, by the way, have you spoken to Derek? There's a problem. Hey, what is it? He's still mad at me. He doesn't even want to see me or talk to me. Oh, but have you gone to his house? Yes, I'm from there. And? He says he doesn't want to see me. He just closed his gate and left me standing outside. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Mommy, we have to find a way. That's all that matters to you, right? The money and your cut. Oh, not that. But I mean, we're talking about Derek. See, Mommy, whatever we have to do to get you and Derek together, we have to. Have you sent him pictures of your vagina or boobs or anything? Are you serious? You want me to send another naked photo of myself? You, it's okay. Sorry. <sighs> Don't even bore me. See, I didn't mean it that way. I'm not really seeing the kind of person you are. Mommy, I said I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm really sorry. For real, I am. You are not. Trust me. You are just saying it because of the money. Ah, mommy, you are bleeding. Oh, 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 yeah, I, I've sold myself. But why are you bleeding so much? It's a lot, pal. Did you eat something? I don't know. My, my tummy is hurting all of a sudden. Why, are you getting cramps or something? Yes, but I don't know why I'm bleeding heavy now. Because today is the last day. Wow, because you are bleeding, oh. Hey, mommy, should we go to the hospital? <laughs> my, my tummy is hurting me. Ouch. Mommy, are you okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. My tummy, my, my tummy is hurting. It's hurting. Oh. Should we go to the hospital? So what? Uh, oh. Mommy, should we go to the hospital? Oh, oh that's right. Hurry, hurry. Oh. Mommy. My, my tummy. Mommy. Hey, mommy, wake up. Mommy, are you okay? Mommy, wake up. Mommy, wake up! Help! Help! Mommy! Help! Someone help! Somebody help me, Mommy! Are you okay? What's happening, Mommy? Someone help! Someone help, Mommy! Mommy, wake up! Someone help! Help! Someone help! Mommy's mouth started foaming, and blood had stained my bed sheet and the floor. I feared the worst. Death. <laughs> 